Welcome back to Let's Play Skyrim. I'm your host, Pat Gunn. And as you see, we left off in this beautiful canyon. And there happen to be a few monsters that we can hit if they will stay still. Please stay still. Or at least there was that one monster. I'm not seeing any others. Well, that's fine. So, we will keep on moving on down. Oh, there is another one. And I did not pull back my bow all the way. It's kind of important. Whoa! And it looks like that helped us spy a trap. So, I think it's, it's a really goofy in, uh, joke to have uh, all the skeletons have bone meals. Okay, so actually, yeah, let's stay with the hunting bow until we spy some monsters that get close enough where we have to use something else. And you can actually hear the waterfall over there. And there is another, uh, something that looks like a skeleton sitting on a chair. Yeah, we can take him out. And a skeleton with some potions and stuff. That's cool. Yeah, just one of those swords. No good. And here is a potion. Now, if you were observant earlier, you'll notice that I walked by a word wall. Uh, or at least I, I saw a word wall way, way down below. This is a draugr that happened to trigger this trap. We're going to drag his or her body off of the trap. Sweet. Now, we're actually going to have to jump over the trap. But that's fine. So long as you, uh, as you're careful, the traps in the game generally shouldn't pose a major inconvenience. The only problem is if you don't happen to notice them, that's when you're going to be in danger. Oh, so how do we get over there? Well, there's probably some way to do it. Perhaps all will become clear, or not. So we'll hop down and continue our path downwards, and there is the word wall down there. Let's go learn the word. Where is... Uh, there it is. Now that is actually one of the more useful shouts. Uh, when you become ethereal, you don't take damage. And it is not just useful for fighting uh, enemies. You can actually jump off of high places after becoming ethereal, and you won't take damage when you hit the ground, which is pretty handy. And here is some conundrum ore. So, we will scoop some of this up. That looks like a chest up there. And some potions. So we're 262 out of 375. We're doing okay. But I think somewhere... We do want to make our way over to... Uh, We do want to make our way over to the Horn of, uh, of Jürgen Windcaller, and I don't quite remember how to get there. I think we might have need to cross over that narrow pathway up there. 
how do we get back up? Well, let's see. We already we did not loot him yet. Could try swimming under the waterfall. Oh. Okay. You'll notice that I, I did a shield bash. So that takes stamina, but it will temporarily disorient your foes if it hits them. And if he can manage it, it is a good way to get an edge uh, in combat, at least until you run out of stamina. And it might actually be a pretty decent argument to spend more points on stamina than I am. Run up behind the word wall, keep on running up this way. And, uh, let's see, so where are we going to want to go? We're, so ahead and to the left a little bit. That might be this, this bridge here. Maybe that is where we are called to go, and I see a skeleton up ahead. So let's see if we can get him. Yeah. So there are neat things there, and a, uh, and a grid. Let's see. There's another skeleton. We can loot some arrows from him. Nothing interesting over here. A little bit more gold. And I guess... Okay, I, I remember this puzzle. We actually need to walk by all three stones and then use Whirlwind Sprint to get uh, to the Grail before things drop back down again. Let's see if we can manage. Let's put our bow away. And here we go. Run, run, run. Sweet. Managed it. And you'll notice, uh, as I just did it, that you can cast some of the spells with both hands and you'll get uh, better results. Now, usually when you see that kind of something wrapped in a cobweb, it is a sign that there are spiders ahead. And I believe that there actually are spiders ahead. There's also, you might remember these traps. They shoot up fire if you stand on them. So if you hop enough, if you bunny hop uh, throughout this area, then you'll probably be OK. And you can actually see a spider up there. So let's see if I can take care of it. There's another spider up there that I can only see through. Yeah. Sweet. Spiders are dead. Ow. Oh. I do not like these spiders. They are they're actually pretty pretty mean. Fortunately, I lucked out and the cutscene helped me uh, kill it faster than I otherwise might have been able to do. alchemy ingredients. I do kind of wish that we could burn these uh, spider egg sacks so that there would be fewer spiders in the future, but 
You're not allowed to do that. And I'll cut through the spider webs and get through the door. Looking good. And that is a very elaborate looking tomb or treasure chest. And hello. Something is. Some things are popping up to greet us. Uh, that is okay. And what is this? Well, there are some burial urns on this side and that side. There is a mysterious note. And somebody else took the horn before I got here, which is a bit disappointing. But it looks like we have an instruction. So we'll grab this instruction. We'll brighten up the room again to see if there's anything else worth looking at in here before we take off. I am not seeing anything. So there's all this stuff on the way out. So apparently, yeah, somebody else came through here and grabbed what we were looking for. But they didn't grab any, uh, any of these funds, so they probably weren't in it for the money. So the question is, what are they in it for? We will find out. But this looks like an exit to the dungeon. So we will continue through this passage. It's got to be a little bit weird digging a passage like that. Like, feels kind of claustrophobic. Plus they did all these fancy things with the walls. Anyhow, let's keep on moving. And hopefully I'm getting, I'm uh, moving in the right direction. There's a spell that um, I probably should have grabbed earlier called Clairvoyance that I think is an illusion spell that will show you the path towards um, either your nearest goal or the way out. And uh, it's really useful to keep you from getting too lost in here. Anyhow, We're going to head down to Riverwood and follow the instructions in that note. And while we're in Riverwood, we will sell some of our junk. So this uh, loading screen hint is actually pretty... Uh, as I mentioned, there are three words for a shout. One of the things I didn't mention is that for most of the shouts, you can choose how much of the shout to do, and that will affect uh, both how powerful the shout is and how long of a, uh, of a re uh, recharge you're going to need before you can shout again. Let's first cut some of this stuff into leather. Do whatever improving we can do. See a workbench. Well, I guess I can improve these leather bracers. And uh, up in grindstone, is there anything? No, nothing we can do with that. Okay, so let's see what he's uh, willing to buy.
See, uh, so you'll notice we're having an easier time selling our. Uh, what are we wearing? So this is at nine. This is at seven. Oh, so we'll switch the le uh, to leather bracers. We're having an easier time exhausting the golds of uh, of sales uh, people because we are enchanting things. So yeah, selling enchanted stuff is definitely one way to um, to make a good amount of uh, money in the game. And let's see, armor, leather bracers, fine. And this is this is the trader that I mentioned, who will eventually be super useful. Right now, he's just pretty useful because he will run out of uh, out of gold, but not not super quickly. So we'll sell these black mage robes and this circlet and this gold necklace. Now we could keep these. We found them with a pretty nice, strong enchantment. In fact, I think we will keep them because they only weigh one and a boost of lock picking of 20% is nothing to laugh at. Let's sell this. Um, and so... He doesn't have quite enough to buy that, so we could we'll buy some more lock picks, and then we'll sell it to him. That takes him down to 56. So basically, we're managing his uh, his gold. We're getting it as close to zero as we can. Clear points, as the spell I mentioned, very useful. It shows you the uh, the path to your current goal. So I bought that. And, um, oh, you know, there were all those undead down there, and I didn't use this spell. I really uh, should have, because if you use it on, I think, three or four monsters, then you will wrap up the quest for uh, Jisago. Oh, that's frustrating. Oh, well. There will be more undead. What was I doing here? Oh, I was renting a room in the inn to talk to uh, chickens. And yep, there are dogs. And actually, if you want to, you can get uh, dog companions too. So you don't have a lot of options in the game for that. I'm the innkeeper. Attic room, eh? Well, we don't have an attic room. But you can have the one on the left. Make yourself at home. Okay, and let's see if there's any useful alchemy to do. I really should keep remembering to check my ingredients before I do that. Wheat. Uh, not going to use Nern Root. Not going to use Ice Wrath Teeth. Lotus is fine. Giant Lickin is fine. Death Bell. I think we're saving that for a quest too. And, uh. Okay, so I am gonna go to bed here. I'll just sleep for an hour. So you're the dragonborn I've been hearing so much about. I think you're looking for this. We need to talk. 
follow me. Okay, so now we have the horn that she managed to somehow uh, slip into the dungeon to take. Ain't much else to tell. And she wants to talk with me. So, let's do that. Oh, coin purse. So a lot of the time in the game, or, or yeah, the, the game will basically... We have... Oh, the game uh, hung for a second. The game will tell you when you're about to steal something. It'll turn the pickup text to red, and it'll change pickup to steal. So if you don't see that, then generally it's safe to take. <coughs> the Greybeards seem to think you're the Dragonborn. I hope they're right. Surprised? I guess I'm getting pretty good at my harmless innkeeper act. You can't be too careful. Thalmor spot. I didn't go. I am not your enemy. Like I said in my note, I'm part of it. If you really are a dragon form, that is. Before I tell you any, if you don't trust me, you were a fool to. I knew that when you showed up here, I knew you were the one the graveyard. We remember. You're the only one. Can you do it? Good. And you'll have a chance to prove it to me soon enough. Dragons aren't just... They weren't gone somewhere for... Now something... So yeah, she reveals a lot of the main plot of the game. That something is uh, bringing uh, dragons uh, that were dead uh, back to life. Pines Grove. There's an ancient dragon. I need to get into my traveling gear. Give me a minute and I'll be... Fortunately, she lets me... Uh, take anything I want from here, which is pretty handy. Let's get on the road to oh, give me a sec. Because there is more stuff here that you are letting me take that I would like to have. Very generous of her uh, to uh, let me take all this stuff. Um, anything you see? Yeah, we can we can enchant some of this stuff. up a bit. Now let's see if we can actually uh, improve enchanting. Yes, we can take enchanting to uh... yes, this is pretty useful. And we're going to check out that sword that we picked up. So right now our sword is an orcish sword that we've improved to find. It does 16 damage. Let's see what this blade sword is like. It does 18 damage, and it is a one-handed sword because we see that R there, which means it's in our right hand. Okay, so the blade sword is going to be our main sword from now on, and we are going to get ready to sell the Orcus sword. So let's actually enchant it up all nice. And well, we also have a st steel dagger and a steel sword that we can enchant. Let's improve the steel sword and the steel dagger. And is there anything else? I guess we could enchant this ring. And we're enchanting it to sell because we don't have any particularly decent uh, soul gems to put an enchantment that we would use for ourselves on it. Yeah. So we're done enchanting. And we have a new sword that does more damage. That is cool. Oh, she is letting me take a coin, uh, a coin purse. That is 
Very generous indeed. And where did she go? Looks like she stepped outside. Kinds Grove. So it is south of Windhelm, which is a good ways off. Um, so I would rather not run all the way uh, there. What I would like to do is to take a uh, to um, hire a carriage again and take it to uh, it isn't white run take it to uh, what is the name of that town or uh, city rather well I'll be able to look it up as soon as the loading screen here stops so I'm going to hire a carriage to Windhelm. There it is. I can take you to where do you want to go? Climb and back, and we'll be off. Ever been to Windhelm? The city in Skyrim, I suppose. They say the big old palace there was built by his And the reason that we're not just going to run there is that we, we want to learn this city anyhow. Eventually you're going to want to learn most of the major cities because too many of the quests involve going there. And if I just ran there with her, then uh, I would need to run uh, to the city afterwards, or at least it would be smart for me too, if I want to know it, so. Okay, and I'm actually going to pop inside Windhelm so that I can sell some of this stuff. It'll also be pretty cool for you to see what Windhelm looks like. So this entrance is actually over, on, uh, or it's a bridge over a river. Looks pretty cool. So you might not see it as much as you would if uh, if you were playing the game, but the game is full of gorgeous uh, views. So each of the cities um, in Skyrim uh, has aligned itself either with the Empire or with the Stormcloaks. And the people generally have some reasonably strong opinions on one side or the other, although there's a reasonable number of uh, places that dislike both. Yourself or deal some damage. 
And this is actually the city where the Stormcloaks uh, are based. There goes that sword that we were using for all that time. So, can't afford to get too sentimental about your gear, because you will be swapping it reasonably often. Whether it's armor you need or a new blade. Captain Lone again. So it's always a the townsfolk thing. call me Captain, because Fine. terrible shit. He's claimed all lovely ladies too. Let's hope the gods find that demon soon. He's introduced to the associates in the shipping profession. We have a business proposition for any sailors who might be looking to make a few extra seconds. That business proposition is oh, smuggling. The sailors I know are plenty good at finding trouble without any help from you. I'm such a wet blanket, Captain. Can't a girl have a little fun? I lost my twin sister a while back. Have you ever lost any? My father says we need to just get on with our lives. It's that easy. Okay. So, we have sold some of our extra stuff. We're st we still have more stuff than we need, but I don't think that there's a general store uh, nearby. But we have learned uh, the city. I don't normally tend to spend a lot of time in here because I side uh, with the Empire in the game, and this being the home of the Stormcloaks means that uh, once the war uh, starts in the game, I uh, generally find myself more busy on wiping out that faction than uh, hanging out there. Oh, pardon me. Sign your way. So, where are we going? We are going almost due south. Actually, we'll just do a quick, quick travel. This doesn't take us very far south, but... I think it speeds us a bit. So, south. This should be south. Um, we will use hunting bow. I'm hoping this is the right south. Yeah, it should be. Let me double check. Dragon burial site. Yeah, it is located right. So I guess Kynesgrove just has a bit of an unusual icon. Um, it, normally when you see an icon for a house... Oh, it wasn't the house. I'm passing by a house now. And Kynesgrove is, uh, Kynesgrove is further south than the house? I'm not sure. Okay, so this is Kynes Grove. Oh, and now the marker moved east. Well, that's no, you don't want to go up there. A dragon, it's attacking. Well, I don't, I don't know what it's doing up there, but I'm not waiting around to find out. And there is Delphine, who is the person who took my, uh, my horn. No, why are you coming up? You're not Delphine. You really probably don't want to be up here. And the dragon is speaking in the dragon tongue. So the Thum is the uh, is the language that dragons speak. And the words in it have some type of deep meaning to the universe. which is probably a reference to some early uh, Jewish and Arabic belief that had uh, some of the same kind of uh, goofy ideas about language. Anyhow. So yeah, he, he is calling Skeletal Dragon back to life and pulling flesh from the air back onto it.
and that dragon is now alive again. And I seem to have started the fight. Okay, that's no good. Where... Where is the dragon? There is the dragon. And I'm going to switch to my blade sword. Let's see how well this thing works. Uh, it's not super effective. But it's... we're getting there. And there's another soldier we can loot. Okay, we're, we're getting there. And if we can just keep on circling him, maybe we can prevent him from biting us or breathing on us. Ow. So, yeah, we got him. And we are observing or absorbing his soul and grabbing its bones and stuff. Oh, and there's another soldier that we can loot. I owe you some answers, don't I? Go ahead. Whatever you want to know. Nothing help that. What is your name? What is your favorite color? A very long for the last two now that dragons are coming back, our purpose is exactly. We used to be for the last but we never found one until now. The first thing the Thalmor are our best they aren't involved, they don't know who is. Nothing saw the Empire had and now the dragon who else gains from that that If we could the problem is that place is meet me back in Riverwood. If I'm not keep an eye on the sky. This is only going to get worse. Okay. So she is heading back to her hideout. We're not going to actually meet up with her for a while. Because we have a whole lot of other quests to think about. But that is one of the main quests in the game. And we are not going to ignore it forever. And, uh... Let's see. Our next step is going to be to return to the uh, Greybeards and give them the horn. But the Greybeard that we usually will want to talk to is Anganir. Or Arnagir, Anger, whatever his name is. Arngir. Ah, you've retrieved the horn of Jorgen. Well done. You have now passed all the trials. Come with me. It is time for us to recognize you formally as Dragonborn. So these guys have pretty cool outfits. Okay. 
the, can't really see it super well because the lighting is not that amazing. But yeah, that it's kind of a neat scaly. The ropes have uh, they're not completely legged or unlegged. They have the crease and the multiple layer. In any case. And now we have all three words of uh, Fusro Da. And uh, that is one of the most useful shops in the game. Stand between us, prepare yourself. If you can withstand the unbridled voice of the great you are ready. And with all three words, I. Uh, you're, uh, you won't just cause uh, foes to stagger, you, you'll knock them back and often knock them down. And if they happen to be walking like on, uh, on a high ledge or something, then you can often knock them off and sometimes they'll die of uh, falling damage. Or at least they'll have to scale back up. So yes, it's very useful. So every time in, uh, throughout the rest of the game, uh, um, you can ask him where another word wall is, and he'll uh, he'll give you the location of one that you haven't found yet. As I said, you will know you are ready when your voice can open the path to me. Okay, so we are done up here, at least for now, and we have the location of one more word wall that we have not yet been to. Now, what are we going to do next? First, let's see how burdened we are. We are pretty burdened. Let's actually quickly see if we can wrap up wrap up returning the uh, the, the ditzy mage and Riften to see if we can find her other things and return them to her. So they are... Uh, her name is Wylandria. And her sp she has a spoon in Ivar Stead that we can retrieve. If we can manage to make progress towards buying a house in Riften, that would be great. But that means uh, trying to do many of the favors for the people who live there. Okay, so what we are looking for is a head and to the right in the Felstar uh, farm. It looks like it's that really nearby looking quest marker. And unfortunately this is locked so we will wait until tomorrow morning and hopefully it will unlock. It's still locked. Is 
Does this place ever unlock? Okay, it's just a little bit before noon. Okay. It's, it's still locked. Oh no, it just unlocked. Okay, that's good. Because I was about to try uh, picking the lock. Oh, you're a traveler. You must okay. have so much to tell about. Have anything? The Greybeards, I heard they lived their entire life without uttering a single word. Can you even imagine? Yeah, that isn't quite accurate. But I suppose these folk don't often make their way up there. So the other thing that we need to find it for Wylandia is... Um, where is it? Ah, her soul gem, and that is up in Windhelm. I guess we should have taken care of that when we were up here. And there's also a, uh, a kid who we need to talk to, uh, Aventus Arantino. And when we've done both of those, I think we'll be at a good breaking point for this, uh, this Let's Play. Okay, so... There is... One of the places we need to be, but these, this is going down. We want to be going up. So this is where that kid lives. So we need to make our way into his house. Sweet mother, sweet mother, send your child unto me. The sins of your Lord, you must be baptized in blood. It worked! I did the black sacrament over and over. It took so long. My mother, the head missed. So I ran away and came home and performed the black sacrament. Now you're here. And you could kill all of the kind! Okay, so he's kind of a creepy kid, but not quite as nutty as you might think if he's asking for somebody to be killed. You will understand later because we're going to do a little bit of this quest and then subvert it. You'll find out what I mean. Okay. I try to keep Grimvar safe, but these are dangerous times. So the other quest marker is ahead and a bit to the right. And this is an alchemy shop. So if we had lots and lots of uh, a spare gold, okay, there's another quest that we, we can start. We'll return to uh, Walendria and give her her stuff that she seems to enjoy leaving all over Skyrim for some odd reason.
So these stator uh, princes, there, there are a whole lot of them, and you can end up doing favors for a decent subset of them, and uh, when you gain their favor, typically you'll get some really, really nice uh, piece of gear. Okay, well, Andrea. I am joining up with Well, at least allow me to reward you for your uncanny foresight. So she gave me someone act uh, some scrolls. You don't have No, no. What was I thinking? It would never I mean, wait, wait. That completely take. You've done it. And now that we've done a favor for her, she will let us take some of the random stuff on her uh, on her shelves. Not everything, though. Still, it's every bit helps. And yeah, we're going to use this as a good break.